So here we are, the final daily dose for this week. And as we've been sort of camping out around Acts chapter 7 and the stoning of Stephen, we're going to continue the story today. But before we dive in today, question for you. Think back to the last great concert you went to, or maybe it was the last play or musical or Broadway show you saw. What do you typically do at the end of the final act or after the encore? If it was an amazing performance, you typically do what? You stand up and give a standing ovation, a slow clap. Well, Stephen has lived this amazing life where he partnered with God to make a difference on this planet. He's given an incredible, convicting message full of truth that was rejected. In fact, we find them rejecting Stephen. They're hacked off and to the point that they, they mob him and they march him to the outskirts of town. This is the setting where they're going to murder him. But before Stephen is killed, what do you think goes through his mind? Stephen is known by everyone around him to be wise, to have a servant's heart, to be full of the Holy Spirit. And he's given his life in service to the king, and he's about to make the ultimate sacrifice. People lied about him. And a few moments from now, they're going to pelt him with rocks until he's dead. So is Stephen bitter that life has turned out this way after all he's done? And, and, and where is God in the midst of all this? Is Stephen abandoned and all alone? Acts 7.55 says, But Stephen, still full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Almost every time scripture talks about Jesus in heaven, it references him as being seated. But this is one of those times in scripture where it paints a different picture of Jesus, Jesus standing in heaven. Not only was all of heaven fully engaged in what was taking place, not only would Stephen not die abandoned and forgotten, perhaps, perhaps Jesus did what you and I do at the end of a great performance. He stands to applaud and celebrate a life well lived and faithful service. And as the stones fly and the thud of each impact is heard and felt, just before Stephen crosses over into eternity, his final words echo his hero's final words. Don't hold this sin against them. He pleads for the souls of the guilty ones. So let's live in such a way that the world takes note of the forgiveness we offer when we're wrong because our gaze is fixed on Jesus and on hearing the applause of heaven. Thanks for checking out The Dose. We'll see you next week.